Um, Commissioner Caleb, I want to talk about the shrimp industry. You know, Mississippi, we're a big shrimping state, and uh, it is very important to Mississippi. And our shrimpers harvest as much as 10 million pounds of shrimp each year, and we have a lot of small family-owned processors that uh, they meet very high health and safety standards to deliver our delicious Gulf shrimp that we like to advertise so well on the tourism commercials and to uh, American consumers across the country. But uh, unfortunately, our shrimp industry is forced to compete with a lot of ever-growing volumes of the imported shrimp. So much of which is dumped on our market and subsidized by foreign governments. And more than 90% of the shrimp we consume in the U.S. is imported. You know, that's just the fact. And in many cases from countries where the food safety standards that are inferior to ours, even more concerning is the FDA's ability or inability to adequately inspect imported shrimp to ensure these imports meet our own health and safety standards. It's no secret that uh, drugs not approved for use in the United States are often used in foreign aquaculture operations and that the residues of these drugs may lead to some cancer or allergic reactions when consumed by humans because of the carcinogenics that are found there. I'm very pleased that imported shrimp was selected for FDA's recently launched regulatory partnership pilot program. And I hope these regulatory partnerships with expo uh, exporting nations will lead to better safety compliance and oversight. But my question is, can you give us an update on the status of this pilot program and any specific improvements you have seen with respect to the regulations of imported shrimp? Thank you, Senator, for bringing that up. Uh, I think you may be the only senator uh, in this group that appreciates my love for shrimp and grits. <laughs> I'm from a Charleston family, as evidenced by the seersucker. It's a great day to wear seersucker in the 90-plus degree weather. I think we're making great progress here, and I, I actually like Dr. Main and Mr. Giannis to both um, comment um, about the specifics of what, what's going on. I think we are making great progress here. Thank you. Thank you, and, and I will say we are grateful for the resources that we have received, um, $6 million to help mm -hmm. uh, advance this work on, on imported shrimp and the safety of imported shrimp, and is directed in both FY21 and 22. Um, in terms of the, res the how we've used those resources, you mentioned our regulatory partnerships. So one of the things we've done is we've focused in on the countries that import the most shrimp into the United States. That includes India, Indonesia, and Ecuador, and we've been establishing regulatory partnerships with the government authorities in all three of those countries. A key part of these regulatory partnerships is also data sharing agreements, confidentiality commitments, so that we can share information that they can have about their, manu their growers, their, their producers. That's important for data that we can use for analytics as we look at prediction um, at imports and what we want to screen at imports. So that's one part of it is the regulatory partnership piece of it. But there's more as well. I mean, in terms of what we're doing with these countries, we've also been doing training. We have actually sent some of our, our seafood safety experts to these countries to improve the training around seafood safety with regard to shrimp. So we've been doing that uh, as well um, as, as the partnership agreements. The last thing I'll mention is we're using these new technologies at the border uh, and to, to try to identify the highest rate of violative products using data and analytics. I'll turn it over to Deputy Commissioner Giannis to discuss a little bit of more more about our predictive analytics using technology. Thank you. Yeah, well, thank you for that question. And we understand that American consumers want their food and shrimp to be safe regardless of where it comes from. Um, and so we're working on that, and the pilot has been very successful. Let me emphasize just a couple of things. On the regulatory partnerships, data sharing is going to be key. Can we get data from these regulatory partners and uh, entities that they're regulating to inform our risk prioritization efforts? So we're making progress on that. One other point that I'll make, make before we get to uh, our analytical approaches is we've invested some of those funds on analytical equipment. Some of these products, as you know, are aquaculture, um, and so there are drugs and residues that might be added, and we want to make sure that we can detect it. But I think the big thing that I'm very excited about is the use of data. Every single line of shrimp import that comes into the United States gets screened by FDA through something that we call the PREDICT system, and we're trying to leverage in this pilot work that we started earlier on a seafood AI pilot, where we're using the power of artificial intelligence and machine learning 
to strengthen our predictive capability of finding those violative products. And so we've embedded shrimp in the seafood AI pilot. And early results are very promising. We're on our third round of piloting, and the results suggest that we might dramatically increase our ability to find which seafood shipment, shrimp shipments are violative. Thank you so very much for that work, and my time is up.